on this force as well. You know, apprentices were seen as the great hope, weren't they? Yeah, so it's more bad people. news for young people. You know, every month you stand here and I reflect on the unemployment figures for the past few months and it's always 16 to 24-year-olds who've been disproportionately hit because of the nature of the work they're in. And this morning, bad news for those who have found an apprenticeship. Good morning. Evidence today that the impact of the pandemic is having on young people, on those starting their careers is really bad. Apprenticeships are a crucial career route for thousands of people. They're essentially paid jobs that come with some training in the workplace and in a college. And it does usually lead to a nationally recognised qualification too. Now, nearly 60,000 new apprentices started in England before, between the start of the UK-wide lockdown in March and the end of July. Now, that is nearly 50% down on the same period a year earlier. Around a fifth of these apprentices had their off-the-job learning programme suspended over the period. But this is what's really worrying. New figures seen by the BBC show that during that first lockdown in England, over 1,000 apprentices were made redundant. Now, that is two-thirds higher than the same period last year. The organisation that provided these figures says that the number is likely to be much, much higher. Behind these numbers, of course, always people's dream careers coming to an end. And one of them is Ruth. Now, she was a nursery assistant apprentice. And after two weeks on furlough, she was told her role was being made redundant. It made me shocked and upset. Like, I've just found what could be a potential career path. And now it's all going to go soon. And it was really shocking and sad. I got pressure with rent, food. I was really upset because so much pressure on me. I'm only 23, you know, made redundant for the first time. I mean, some good news for Ruth. She's now found a job in a care home, but it's not an apprenticeship, apprenticeship, so she won't get that qualification. And important to say that apprenticeships are a devolved policy, so authorities in each of the UK nations manage their own programmes. In England, the Chancellor, Rishi Sunak, announced as part of his summer statement that firms can now get £2,000 if they hire a young apprentice before January of next year. But, of course, for many employers still struggling, especially with the second lockdown, that might not be possible, even with the incentive. It'll be really interesting to see what the impact it has on apprenticeship numbers. And we're really keen to hear from you this morning. If you are an apprentice or looking for an apprenticeship and have been struggling, do get in touch in all the the usual ways um, and it's as we've been saying with many business stories it's not just what's happened with people being let go of it's what comes next because we're in this second lockdown and we don't really know when it's going to end mm. I can only imagine really how dispiriting it would be that if you're a young person and you you get what you think is a, a start you know that apprenticeship thing and then it just disappears from under your feet through no fault of your own and you're being put into a job market where the competition is really intense but also you know looking to go on to further education well that's really limited at the moment too and not every young person has the support of mum and dad at home so really hard yeah thanks very much thank you